the Discovery Channel, Journal of the Unknown, Weird of What, with William Shatner, and more than a human. The BBC in London, and in countless radio and televised programs worldwide, Dr. Turi graduated from the Royal School of Music in London. It was recognized in 2003, Marquet, Who's Who in America. Dr. Turi counseled people from all over and all works and all walks of life. Life, including many celebrities, such as Ivana Trump, Peter Fonda, Gary Boosie, Dennis Haysburg, John Gray, and David Ick, to name a few. And there's so many more. He channels an E.T. entity named Draco and speaks of his seven incredible fifth-kind UFOs experiences all over the world. mind-boggling encounters lead Dr. Turk to rekindle the great fear Nostradamus. Pathetic visions and natural healing work. Dr. Turi teaches the mighty secrets of the supra conscious in time and space and in its interaction with the cosmic code. Dr. Turi regularly warns the world with his undeniable, well documented, and undeniable productions, predictions, and more. The FBI actually visited. Dr. Turi twice following accurate terrorist attack predictions. Hmm. We're going to learn about these and more in just a second. Let me first introduce to you my honored special guest, Dr. Turi. Oh, yeah, there you are, Doc. Well, thanks very much for having me, my dear friend Bob. How are you? Okay. You know, I, uh, it was like everybody was so excited around here. Oh, Dr. Story's coming back again. Oh. I mean, it was, you know, the last time we, we, I mean, you've been on the show a few times. Correct. But every single time you come on the show, you leave people sitting on the edge of their chair. <laughs> it's like, what is next? <laughs> and I know, I know you have, uh, you have friends also on uh, Facebook. One of them happens to be a personal friend of Diane and I's. That's uh, Mark Brinkerhoff. Right. And and Mark, I mean, what I'd really like to do, I mean, if it's OK by you and I'm, I'm sure it'd be OK by him, I'd like to get both of you guys the same show at the same time. Well, that would be fine. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, <laughs> how many people can come to the show and and listen to the show or call into the show? And then, I mean, it would be it would be fantastic. Oh, I'm on. I'm on Bob. anytime. I mean, I'm serious. Let's party. All right. <laughs> so it's All like, right. hey. Okay, now, some of the things that that, that uh, let me just let me just key this up here because I already had questions because as soon as this thing hit Facebook, I mean, they uh, everybody was saying like, oh, well, you know, I was writing about reading about, and I was like, oh boy, here we go. I mean, don't don't get it wrong in that about me, and I love the people who listen to the show, but some people ask the strangest questions. But this one, this one, I, I had to pick out because I think this is something that everybody was asking and wanted to know about. They said, "What is the Galactic Federation of Grand Cosmic Order?" That's a good question. Well, first of all, let me apologize for the, my big, huge glasses here. Uh, I wear those because I had surgery, and uh, the bright light is kind of very uncomfortable. So that's one of the reasons. Secondly, I wear a hat with the FBI. That is a statement, uh, since I am the first cosmic cop teaching <laughs> the world uh, God, cosmic design, and the laws of the divine. Now, in reference to uh, that question, the Galactic Federation or Grand Cosmic Order is a group of top 
of the top of the top extraterrestrial. It's like it's past the management. It's like the presidency of the universe. And it's like uh, today, President Trump, uh, President Biden uh, spoke with uh, uh, the uh, president of uh, uh, Asia, uh, of China today. So this is, you're talking about big heads. That's the best way for me to explain it, to answer this question. It's like the big head of all the universes condenses together. So what we're talking about is, you know, what would you talk about at a meeting? Well, they would talk about things like uh, to make sure a uh, certain group of extraterrestrials don't go out of order. You know, you do hear the name of extraterrestrials are endless. I mean, every single day, like NASA, discover a planet or a black hole. Um, they are someone who is going to create a new name for extraterrestrials. But you, you need to be objective if you want to delegate the world of extraterrestrials. There is only two groups, okay? And hundreds of names, okay, that have been created over the years. One is good and one is bad. Now, it's, you cannot have... A man without a woman, a front without a back, a god without a devil, a yin and yang. And that's why human, we have two eyes, two arms, two legs, two sides of the brain. You cannot walk in one leg. You've got to have opposite force in order for life to be possible. So you've got a good ET, which I classified as the Draconis from the constellation of Draco, and then the Reptilius or the reptilians uh, that are feeding on the human race, fear, negativity, chaos, and stimulate the mind of scientists to create destructive technology, nukes and viruses. And then at the, at the same time, those nasty extraterrestrials affect uh, human from all walks of life. They cannot survive in dark matter. They cannot survive on a planet they hijack called Pluto, which is, which is at the verge of our solar system. They cannot survive without negativity. Call them Satan. Call them the devil. Call them whatever you want. But they need our Gen you need us like a battery that generates constant negativity, fear, chaos, war, death, drama. While the good it is, now they are the ones that stimulate your mind and my mind when I was a recording artist to create a beautiful music. They stimulate the mind of people like uh, Einstein to create wonderful discoveries in mathematics and the universe. They stimulate the mind of people like uh, um, Mozart and Beethoven to play fantastic music. They are constantly, constantly battling each other in the universe. Now, the Galactic Federation of Grand Cosmic Order is always keeping an eye on a, a value groups of extraterrestrial, and there is <laughs> as many as you have stars. Uh, this is infinite, uh, but only certain groups of extraterrestrials have reached us. And for they like they need us to survive, as I said, in dark matter. Do I make sense so far? So far, yeah. I, mean, I have a question though, or just to throw something in here, please. All of these other life forms, other peoples from different areas are they here have they been well I'm, i know they've been here but are they here or are they keeping hands off okay good question again the galactic federation of grand cosmic order is very very clear not a single extraterrestrial extraterrestrial group will interfere with the humans affair now the draconis are law obedient the reptilians are not, which means they hijack people. They do all sorts of negativity. They don't care about the laws. And then this is what basically uh, emphasized this specific group of extraterrestrials that have uh, uh, literally uh, hijacked, the, not the solar system, but the Earth. The Earth is a very, very rare, incredibly beautiful uh, piece of real estate. And they want it, okay, they just want it for their own specific purpose. And the purpose is to literally destroy the human race so they can grow into more negativity and go and infest another solar system. They travel in time and space through black holes. 
And believe me, they are also cosmic conscious, which means they understand God's cosmic design. They understand the super conscious in time and space. They, they will never talk to the president or to the top of the top of the scientists because they are master of matter. What they are interested in is people like me that are spiritual, that are creative, that are futuristic, um, or uh, they have lost their connection with God himself and the design. They are pretty much like IE, they are constantly uh, duplicating themselves in time and space. They don't have no souls, the negative extraterrestrials. The positive extraterrestrials <laughs> or the positive ones, right. Yeah, the, the Draconians, on the other hand, are coming from the constellation of Draco, okay? And they are, uh, they are feeding human beings through the forces of the sun, the light. The sun rules love, light, creativity, the sign of Leo, anything to do with children, beauty, the stage, life in itself. Uh, it is controlled by the sun. During the day, every planet shines away, only the sun shines. You cannot live without the sun. As much as you have the forces of the day, now the Draconis, you also have the forces of the night, the Reptilius. It's just an endless battle. You know, there is a war above you here. It's not what we ha we have here is just a pretty much the uh, the, res the end result than this dense phys physical world to what's going on above you here. And believe me, those extraterrestrials are extraordinarily smart. I was going to say they they must be brilliant uh, beings to be able to cause that you know any kind of trouble they feel like it. I, I have I have a question. I have also uh, what is asked other people on that they were uh, contes, uh, contactees. Uh, these people, these uh, how would you call them? I, I would say being, but on the other hand, too, it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. Could they actually literally take over a person? Their well, consciousness. You know the problem that people don't understand, as I said earlier, the Galactic Federation of Grand Cosmic Order is very clear. Do not interfere with the human race. Okay. The Draconis do it at a subconscious level. Mm -hmm. You have a reptilian brain, you know that. Right, right. And then you have the other side. So you don't have to look for ETs anywhere. They are already part of your psychical makeup. They are already in your head. Anytime you're negative, anytime you're depressed, anytime you you, you really feed the, the, the devil, and the more you're negative, the more they take in, they, they hijack your body, your mind, and your soul. And the more they make you do stupid things like, like getting your machine gun and killing everybody and then at the end killing yourself. So I exaggerate the information so you understand that those entities are already part, they're in your head. They're already here. Now, the reptilians on top of that, they hijack people uh, also uh, for negative purpose, like they took the fetus of my wife in, in one of my uh, trip in a flying saucer. But you know, the Draconis do also the same thing. They also hijack with the permission of the Galactic Federation of Grand Cosmic Order. They hijack, they, they, they have that like they did with me, okay, for mm -hmm. a very specific purpose to educate the rest of the world or to uh, help the world, to save the world. God knows what, I don't know. All I know is my mission is very clear, is to bring cosmic consciousness to the world and make the world realize that extraterrestrials are not the product of imagination. They are very real. And they are in your head. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for people to um, understand and digest or even assimilate what I'm saying. What? In my head? What? Yes, they are in your head. When you're very negative, and if you drink, for example, too much, or you smoke your pothead, or you take a lot of drugs, these are the goodies of the reptilians. Okay, so again, they use all this negativity, all these goodies, so that they can uh, make you feel so negative that this it's like vampire. They're sucking your energy. Okay, and you can be also extremely positive and very creative. You know, it goes both ways. It's very simple if you adapt this type of objectivity to understand how the, uh, the, the ex uh, various group of extraterrestrials are operating on this dense physical world through the human mind. You know, let me ask you a question, because we, I, I am not, I mean, I do radio shows, so I really can't be left, right, middle, upside down, backwards. Absolutely, you know, yes. Can't yeah. do it. I, gotta, I have to invite both ends on the, on the show or whatever else. You want to beat yourself up? Go ahead. 
But the thing, that, one of the things that gets me all the time is that, uh, you know, we talk about the bad side, the, the, you know, the good side, et cetera, et cetera. Have you, in your conscience, feel that something within the last 12 months, 13 months, 14 months, has actually come to war with humans? Well, again, you know, life is a constant process of changes, okay? And uh, this is set by what, what I call the cosmic code or God cosmic design. The planets above you here in our solar system, okay, they are not just dead rock hanging out there for the sake of beauty. And believe me, God did not create Mars or the moon for Bishop or uh, what is this other guy <laughs> to go on the moon, okay? Uh, or to sign, there is a much deeper uh, meaning to the world you live in. We are the essence of all those stars, okay? We are the very end essence of all the stars. You are part of the universe. You are a child of the universe. But if you do not understand your UCI, which means your unique celestial identity or your cosmic gift, that's where the problem starts and that's where the reptilians will hijack you. In your case, for example, Bob, you are not a radio host by accident. The future is nothing else than the reincarnations of your thought. So what you did unconsciously, you have stimulated the force of your subconscious or the supraconscious to put things in place until you end up with this microphone in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, it, there is all sorts of uh, um, energy that the, the normal human being uh, is not necessarily aware of maybe because he's been religiously indoctrinated or maybe because the UCI or the unique celestial identity or his stars are too rational and this person becomes a skeptical and agnostic or an atheist. There is, it's all written in light. But if you don't educate yourself, if you don't take the time to educate yourself, then you're going to be just a robot of your stars which are going to be manipulated by the negative groups of extraterrestrials. Mm, I, uh, I I know what you mean about the, the microphone. I'm just, just going through my mind. And at, at 39 years of being a musician and a singer, having a micro microphone in front of my face, and then leaving stage. So what did I leave with? Well, just tell me one month for you born. <laughs> it's, it's, uh huh? One month for you born. May. Okay. If That's you can't... Okay, well, first of all, May or Taurus... Okay, is ruled by a planet called Venus, which is called in Greek mythology the goddess of love and beauty and the art. Okay, so your sun sign is Taurus. Taurus was the throat. Okay, and that why, of course, you do music or you sing, you sing, whatever it is. Okay, but you have to remember also that if you count to two from May, May, June, in your second house of money and self-esteem or building your results, that's where you become a Gemini. Gemini is ruled and controlled by Mercury, which is called in Greek mythology the messages of the God to represent anything to do with communication, radio, transportation, cars, machinery, everything that moves. The ancient carved guy called Hermes, and he had wings on his heels. Hmm. So that's where you spend your money. That's where you build your self-esteem. And that's why you end up be, because of, you, of your chart or your stars behind this microphone. But the thought was generated initially by the set of stars or your karma. Uh, you're not going to teach Michael Jackson to sing and dance. You're not going to teach Mozart or Beethoven to play music or, or to, 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 to write beautiful music. It's, it's within the, the structure of your UCI, of your stars. The sad reality is 99 and a half and three quarters of the people walking this earth, including people in power in the government and the police and our scientists, they are not cosmic conscious. They have absolutely no clue of what I'm talking about. And this is why. When I give the exact date of terrorist attack in Paris and in New York, I had four freaking FBI agents that came and visit me twice. Yeah, oh, yeah. They thought that was a sleeping cell. I said, no, I brought them to my office. I said, look, okay, this is a software that I designed. I'm using the same type of astrology as Nostradamus used to do in the 16th century, which does not involve method, uh, uh, um, 
a mathematics because he didn't have a watch 500 years ago. And then this is using the stars. This is why I was about to do that. But these were kids. They were like 45 years old, 40 years old. I'm 72. So they could not relate because they had been educated traditionally, rationally. They've been trained to ridicule the divine, to ridicule astrology or UFOs for that matter. But a proof of the matter, they were scratching their big, huge, young, educated head, wondering how the hell I did. And I gave them the tools, but they never, you know, they missed the boat, literally. They could have learned from me, but they never did. Here we go. You know what the funny part is, Ned? Even if they had the software, they still wouldn't know any more than they know right now. Well, <laughs> unless, they, unless they train, you know, I always say, you know, have a lot of cops. I work with a lot of police officers, FBI agent, name it, CIA agent, all these guys that I work with. Um, when it comes to a police officer, in his trooper, he had a, the technology, the software is there. You know, the first thing he can do is have access through through uh, the uh, driving license of the date of birth of anybody that this person is stopping. And that is the key. If the cops is trained, he would know immediately if the person that is you stop is actually one of the kids born under the uh, death wish generation. He would know in a fraction of a second how the critical thinking of this person, he would know his service to the world, he would know his subconscious motivation um, with, before tapping into uh, his legacy if he's been in jail. He would know everything about that person. This is why I'm going to be teaching in Las Vegas uh, um, next March. I have a big, huge conference coming up. Uh, what I'm trying to say, a lot of people are going to learn from me and they will understand what it means to be human in in a few days they're going to be with me but you got to have integrity because the stars don't care they don't think they don't rationalize it's like god creating an earthquake and killing innocent baby okay so i cannot teach that to anybody so i look at the stars of every one of my students has to face me on zoom for one hour before they sign up to my course because i can see through their stars if they are not going to use these to sell drugs or, or or to promote any form of negativity and the reptilians. So then you just don't have them as a student. Oh, I got plenty of students. <laughs> no, no, I mean, right I mean, now, I have, I don't know, I can't count them. The doctors, attorney, the, the, uh, you know, uh, people who are following me, the mayor of Phoenix, governors, I mean, it's, it's just insane. Uh, you know, the people are not stupid. You know, people have feeling, people have intuition. Yeah. And they have a little voice here. You know, this guy must have something. So they go to my website, thedoctorturi.com. They watch some of my movie on Amazon Prime on UFO or astrology. And then if they vibrate at my cosmic speed, remember, magnet will attract a piece of wood. Okay, you can only relate to somebody because of your education, your intelligence, your experiences, and most of all, your stars. So if your stars are compatible with mine, which they are, because you're coming from my eleventh house of witches and friends. Okay, then. Yeah you can learn and I know exactly what's going on. And, and I can tell you, uh, you like food. I can tell you, you can cook. I can tell you all sorts of things about you. Well, and, what do you know? All right. If you were going to, this is now anybody in that is listening. I know we've got a whole bunch of people that listening on uh, tune in. The, uh, the thing is you know, if somebody wants to call in, all right, even, even me for that matter, or yeah. I am for that matter. Can yeah. you tell something about the person by the month, the day, and the year? Absolutely. The, the, this oh, is where so, so I... Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. So that that's kind of... So now you're run, running into the numerology. No, 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 no. This is astrology. It's not numerology. I know, what but I, I, the, the numbers count. Well, the numbers, uh, again, you know, the Nostradamus didn't have a watch or a computer. So when he was dealing with somebody, he didn't care about trying sextile degrees, solar, Saturn, return, conjunction, opposition. All he was focusing in is the power of the dragon. And that's what I use. The software allows me to know where your natal dragon and your hidden dragon is located. And there is more power in the dragon alone than the entire complexity of your charts. So the best thing to do is give it a shot and let me do my, my, my magic. And you see, you'll be the judge. And so is your audience. Well, there you go. Uh, well, you know May already. So that, that's a good one, right? Uh, yeah, well, give me a little breath then. Uh, what do you want? The date, yeah, the date of birth. I need to find out what part of the universe you're coming from. Five, so, four, five, one. 
I born 1951. Okay, so we're the same age. So, uh, all right. So now I could see, I can see uh, an incredible amount. Uh, you're like an open book to me now because I have your chart in front of me. Of course, uh, the audience cannot see it, but I can see it. All right. I can, you, I can see your glasses, by the way. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. The chart is uh, is depicting twelve specific houses that represent, of course, the twelve energy, uh, the uh, the twelve apostle, the twelve sin, the twelve jury, the twelve tribe Israel, the twelve uh, sign of the zodiac, the twelve months of the year. So you're talking about Jesus' cosmic ministry, okay? All right, so please, we can discuss this a little bit more later to find out where astrology came from, basically. But as far as I can see here, um, I can see that you have an extraordinarily strong sense of detail. You're fussy, you're picky, you're detail-oriented, you're a hard worker. In fact, you work too hard, and that could put stress on your digestive tract or your intestines. And then you have, uh, I'm looking at many, many of your past lives, okay? Uh, some of your past life were into, uh, you got a good balance between the male and the female energy. Uh, and then that's why, of course, cooking, cleaning, organizing, all that is part of your nature. Your head of the dragon is Pisces. That is Nostradamus, Edgar Casey, Madame Vladaski, the spirituals, the healers. And Pisces was anything and everything to do with imagination, the art, music, dancing, acting. I'm a Pisces. That's why I was a recording artist for many, many years. So and then if you count 11 from May, you're going to end up in March. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. That's where you have your head of the dragon in the sign of Pisces. So Pisces, there goes Dr. Cherry, I am naturally a friend of yours. So people who have your wishes are Pisces, your wishes can take place by the water on a ship in an exotic place. Okay. Now, do you have any problem on your feet? This is a question. Surgery, black uh, problem, uh, flat feet, high arch, uh, anything on your feet? Yes had, or no? Had, had. Uh, okay. All right. So you fix that. Okay. Yep. All right. So this is this is a sign that is naturally um, into uh, hypnotic work, the subconscious, the spirit. That's your head of the dragon. But everybody is stuck on the tail. Your tail is Virgo. Strong attention to detail, paperwork, office work, organization. Uh, that makes you also very critical with the affairs of love and your children. You, you want only the best. Then you have the moon in Aries. That means you're not exactly patient. Moon in Aries is very competitive. That's where I have my head of the dragon, by the way. I was born with the head of the dragon in the sign of Aries. Aries rules the head. That means I'm a leader of the mind. So all I'm trying to tell you here, um, your Venus is in your second house in Gemini. So it's important for you to let people know that you love them and they love you. You can send a little notes. You, you know, you have that natural aptitude. You pay attention to everything. Your mind is concerned with anything and everything that has to do with food and real estate, security, your parents and your family. And in your mind, you have a planet to call Uranus. Uranus was anything to do with technology, the future of flying, airports, new age, UFOs. So your mental process is not... Normal. You could have easily been a pilot with this chart. I was. I didn't know, but now you confirm the power of, yeah, of the stars. Now, you're also a pilot of the spirit because, you know, you've got a physical and spiritual world. You see, my hand has two sides. Now, these are the laws of man written in light, okay? Uh, no, they're written in paperwork. I mean, all, you're talking about the IRS, the DMV, the red light, the stop sign, and all these laws, the Bible. These are the laws written by me. Now, because you don't see the other side of my hand doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You have another set of laws, and those laws are written in a light. And what I'm doing is to read your the laws, read your cosmic identity, your, what God has gave you because of the amount of karma. And then knowing you have the head in, uh, of the dragon in Pisces, you've got a, and luckily for you, you have that very strong Virgo, which is fussy, natural healing, no doctors, anything that is green and plant and nature and exercise, that's your tail of the dragon. But you got to stay away from any form of drugs and alcohol because uh, that, that dragon said is very addictive. So basically, 
um, I can tell you that in January, the the dragon is going to be moving on you. The dragon's head of the year 2002 is moving in Taurus. What is Taurus? Again, to represent money, the ancient carved the bull. Okay, Marilyn's corporation used the bull. The financial district in New York used the bull. What right. are they telling you? Look at my bank. Look at my walls. Look at my wealth. Give me your money. I'm going to make it grow. Taurus rules the banking industry. The head of the dragon is moving in the sign early 2002 in January. So that's why when I say Biden will bring America right to the top as far as the economy is concerned, I'm not saying that because I like him. I'm saying that because I see the stars. I can read the future and the future has and will always be my utmost faithful uh, witness. So that's the good news. The tail of the dragon is moving on the seventh house, which means you will have to reevaluate and restructure many of your partnerships. Or your partner. Now, let's say you're in a relationship and marriage that is a little bit washy washy. This dragon will kill your partner and force you to rebirth the house. If you have a business partner that doesn't meet your expectation and God knows you have high expectation, this dragon will kill, hypothetically speaking, this partner and bring a new one. So you have a complete restructure of the way you're going to face the world and a restructure of your financial security. What about your neck? Do you have any problem on the neck? No, just, uh, you know, from, from a car accident. I talked to you about this last, last show that we were at. Now, I can't remember. I can't remember. I, all I can see is that you have Mars. Mars is the red planet of yeah. danger. And he's in the sign of Taurus, and Taurus rules the neck. Yeah. Every part of your body is controlled by the stars. This is why the father of medicine said you cannot call yourself a doctor or a physician if you did not study the stars. I mean, you're talking about the, the father of medicine. That's, uh, it doesn't mean all these doctors, which I teach a hell of a lot of them, uh, are going to pay attention to uh, hypocrisy. Okay? This, this, this man is a genius in so many ways. So... Uh, what I want to see with you again. Um, yeah, the thing that you were saying that before was that the last time that we had talked on another show, it was a, a bad car accident that I had in 92, and it it literally dusted a lot of the bones in the, in the neck. Yeah, wherever you have Mars, you, that's where danger will enter your life. And wherever you have Scorpio, this is where death can enter your life. Yeah, so you have to be cautious. Um, for example, do you remember, uh, what is his name, Chauvin, Chauvin, this police officer who killed this cop uh, with his knees? Do you remember that story? Uh, yeah, I think I, yeah. think I remember what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, he was born with the tail of the dragon in Taurus. Oh. Uh, anything to do with the neck, be careful and when you have the tail of the dragon in taurus you because it's the sign of money you lose everything in life you're forced to die and rebirth and the head of the dragon is scorpio of course scorpio was the police the fbi the cia the criminal element and it was a cop for many many years on his dragon's head but that day he did not know about my sos to the world of the window and he didn't know about his negative cosmic biorhythm in other words he was at the wrong place at the wrong time and he killed this ball, this dude by supercutting him with his knees. But that's all explained in my YouTube videos to those who are following my work. Yeah, what, the, I, was, what I was going to say was with that car accident, there was an NDE. So I died at that place. And then for some reason, 30 days net later, I was like, hi, how you doing? <laughs> well, again, you know, you have the head of the dragon. Uh, you face the world as a Scorpio. Scorpio means, the in your case, the seventh house is the public. When you get up in the morning, the first person you see is your wife, your cat, your dog, and then you go to work. You go into the public if you don't work at home. So that's where death can enter your life. And Scorpio, again, uh, rules the police and rules the criminal element. I have a friend who has the same dragon than you. He, he's been run uh, by a crazy lunatic who nearly killed him and his wife, sent his wife to the hospital. She's completely messed up. And then uh, the police 
the police who, who's actually r run into him and was responsible. He never got one penny because he has the tail of the dragon on the police. He could never get a penny from it. And, and the police was in fault. So you know what? It, it, there is a world of information in astropsychology or forensic astrology. And I, I, I taught it to psychologists. And in my last my last teaching in Sardinia, I had a psychiatrist, not a psychologist, a psychiatrist who told me, Dr. Thierry, I have learned more with you in your crash course that was six days in Sedona than seven years in my accredited school. That is a compliment from a doctor. And my wall here is loaded with reference from who is who in America in the medical field. Wow. And they kicked me out of school. I was, two, what, 14, 13 yeah. Because because I'm ADD, ADHD, I cannot stay still, which is a gift. Einstein was ADD. Okay. This this is how God made me. He didn't want me to learn traditionally to have. I'm a soul doctor, and I teach doctors. I teach who is who in America, as I said earlier. But they kicked me out of school at 13 or 14 years old because I was amusing the class. And instead, and if my teacher would have been cast me conscious. Uh, instead of beating me and making my, my fingers bleed and I couldn't write or putting me under his desk and after a, half an hour or one hour I wanted to move to let the blood go through him, you're going like this, kick as hard as you could anytime, anywhere. Uh, so uh, those guys were not cast me cautious. They did not know that I was supercharged physically, mentally, and I had to release that energy by any way, shape, or form. And then I was beaten to death by those idiots. My book, Beyond the Secrets, I strongly recommend your audience to put you, your hand on my book, Beyond the Secrets. When you read, first of all, um, Amazon Critic says, once you open this book, you cannot close it. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, is the story of my life because of my thoughts, because the understanding that I have of the human nature and my UFOs experiences, I became Dr. Terry. It's all set by my UCI, the stars, and the blessing that I had also been touched by the Draconis. I also been touched by the Reptilians, and I wish to, I would never wish to my worst enemy what I went through with uh, my experience with ET, on my third experience with ET. Yeah, I mean, have you ever, uh, I guess it would be, I, I would more or less say out of, out of body, experience with any of these extraterrestrials well again this is more on the subconscious area you know when you're a child you don't have a, a filter on your subconscious you you're just being born okay so i had that recurrent dreams for years the name i mean it's like if i was there now listen to this and I was, uh, I don't know, maybe six, seven, eight years old, and I used to scream my head off. What happened is I was in a cave, okay? And in that cave, I could look around me, and uh, there was all my family around the walls. They were dressed in white and then orange colors. And I was in a table, which was more a rock. I was looking behind me as I was laying down and I could see the snow, I could hear the wind and I could see the eagles flying. And then three Chinese soldiers came in and I could see them very clearly with all the armor and everything else and everybody was screaming in a, in a cave. And then they plunged their knives, the three of them, they are killing me with their knives and I walk up. <laughs> so yeah. later on in life, as I educated myself, I have learned that uh, the Chinese invaded Tibet and they killed all the master, all the master uh, spiritual leaders. And that is my last life. And so if you have a recurrent dream, you know where you come from. That's why I also do dream interpretation. But as far, and as a Pisces, I'm so connected with the subconscious that how many times I flew above my house how many times I've seen myself sleeping? How many times I felt like, like I fell into from a rock and woke up in surprise? 
because your etheric body, or you have two bodies. You don't have just a physical body that your eyes see. You also have a spiritual body. So when you sleep, the the vibration of your physical manifesto slows down, and your etheric body starts to accelerate, and then you kind of raise. To, from your physical body and then your head goes towards your feet and then you go back on your uh, on your feet and then you can see you are now into the fourth dimension um you are attached to this body by a lumbical cord that's why when you're very very scared and you're about to die you feel right hot very very hot right here it's like you know you're gonna die it happened to me many times when you're in a position where you're gonna die you feel that warmth in here and that brings me to explain to you you cannot be born unless you die okay so when the doctor takes uh, you out of the warm uterine life of your mother the first thing he does is to cut the cord okay so you die to the uterine life you die to your mother connection and then the smack on your bottom the cold in the room the noise god knows what you send your first impression to the superconscious and then the connection is made and you become an independent spirit on planet earth that's why a lot of women who have uh, uh, committed a crime and they killed the baby they didn't kill anybody uh, you, you know if they had an abortion now if the baby comes out the doctor cut the cord and you kill the baby that's murder but before that 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 the soul is not inside of the body just yet it's just the mother nervous system the an analogy of the mother it has nothing to do with the child itself the spirit is not in the body yet so this is um to explain to you when you're about to die again after many many years you could die peacefully in in your bed you still you know you get the old time of disease you don't remember anything which is a good way to go you're high <laughs> naturally yeah, seriously. Or, or you could die violent death which is probably the best way to go because i mean i had car crash you know i broke my uh, my elbow i broke my hand i broke my nose i broke shoulder uh, going through the windshield because i was wild 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 and uh young and stupid okay and uh you know each time each time it happened you don't feel anything it's just like in fact i remember my friend i was playing in a discotheque and my car was broken down and my friend got me a, a, a ride home and uh, i could i kind of watch him all night he didn't score he was kind of drinking drinking and then anyway once we pack up everything else it's time to go home it's like three o'clock in the morning and i said okay let me drive he says no 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 don't worry i can drive so he started to drive going really really fast so we passed the little village which was now 10 miles away and he said let's go and drink to the next village i know a place it is open i says no 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 i'm tired man i've been singing all night i'm really tired let's go home he says no 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 okay and then after my village the the road is straight like an eye for about a mile and a half you cannot have it more straight than that okay and he was driving this car as fast as he could and then he was trying to pick up some new radio and then as he turned the knob of the radio we also turned the wheel yeah and then bam, we hit a tree my god i broke the windshield with uh, my elbow you could see it's all messed up right everywhere and the next thing I know, the next thing I know, I am in the middle of a bunch of people and my friend looking at me and he goes, oh my God, Louis, oh my God, you were in the car. I said to him, who's Louis? What's a car? But you come from the leader, you were singing, Louis, come on. But what is the leader? I had absolutely no idea where I was, what's happening. I was looking at everything with everybody. And remember, it's a little village. They didn't have any cell phone. Okay. Right. So how and the road was blocked both sides, the police, the everything was there. The ambulance. What the hell? How long have I been out? <laughs> and I was still, and then I all of a sudden I felt attach my elbow like this and i tried to lift it up and my bone was coming out said, oh wow, 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 wow the pain and the consciousness came back but i had absolutely no idea where i was for all of god knows how long he stayed in the car the porsche of course was completely scratched in like that his leg was messed up they were cutting the car trying to get him out it was but i'm telling you the best way to die is um, violent death, airplane crash, accident. That's the best way to go. You don't feel, you don't see nothing. 
Uh, well, I don't know. You know what it is? It's like I've been, there. I've been there. I can tell I, you. My, my, family, I, my family, my family were uh, die in your sleep family. So I mean, that, uh, that's uh, a good way. That's a good way I'm, to die. But no. natural, natural death. It's easy. I mean, you know, you start to lose your senses, your perception. You lose your memory. You fall asleep. You fall asleep, and then when it's time, that cord which is connecting you with God, with the divine, with the superconscious, slowly but surely, it's like electricity. The 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 the, the juice is not there anymore. It's fading away. It's fading away, and it shuts off, and then you're gone, and uh, to the next level. Because there is no beginning, there is no end. There is. Uh, I've described to people many, many, many times what it's like to die, and let me tell you, it was where I was with the nicest. Most beautiful, most unbelievable feeling place that, I mean, I'm serious. If I could have stayed, I would have. My father sent me back. He called you? My father, my father told me, it's, it's not your time. You have to go back. And that was it. Zing! And I was back. But I was back. I woke up 30 days later. Wow. So you went to karma, <laughs> yes. So it was like, wow. And they had, they had pictures of me out. DOA on the road with a bag next to me. Wow, amazing. Again, you know, when you have Mars, the planet of danger, um, in your first house, uh, you're certainly prone to, 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 to get all sorts of accidents. And the reason why I had so many scars all over my body uh, is because I was born with the head of the dragon in Aries. Again, remember, Aries, to represent aggressivity, to represent war, the ancient calf, the ram. Okay, and you can see it in nature. Bah! Wow, there's a representation of two stupid guys instead of going to the opposite side, which is Libra, understanding, diplomacy, savoir faire. Those two guys are going to beat their head until somebody dies and bleed to death. That's Mars. And incidentally, this planet also rules Hitler. Hitler was born in April under the constellation of Taurus, but he was born in the constellation with the energy of Mars. And so it was easy for him to lead the white German people to war because... Um, Germany is a warlike country. Even their accent. If you listen to the German accent, I mean, yes, I exaggerate right. the energy. It is very, very army-like. And guess what? I lived in Germany for a while, year and a half. Oh my gosh, the most beautiful years of my life in this country. Okay, the uh, the best of the best of the best steel. You can't find in the entire world to build tank, machinery, bullet, God knows what is to be found in the mountain of Bavaria, where I was. That's where I learned that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yep. That is awesome. I'm 100% 100% German. So, you know. My whole, my whole family. It's know. an Aries. I mean, you have to see also the negative Mars, the connection between Aries and the Aryan race. Aries, Aryan, Aryan, Aries, the same words. Really? Yeah. So Aries is the baby of the Zodiac. Pisces is the grandfather of the Zodiac. Aries was your head. Pisces was your feet on the medical aspect. And in between, you have the neck, Gemini, your arms, uh, love, your heart, uh, food, your stomach, cancer, uh, intestine, cleansing, uh, Virgo, reproductive area, Scorpio, all the way down to Pisces, where the body rests. So when you have a strong Aries, you are going... It, it, me and I is Aries as a rule, okay? The, the soul has to learn all about himself. He has to find himself and become a pioneer and become a leader of the mind. The, the educated Aries is an optician, is a dentist, is a brain surgeon, is an astro-psychologist, what I do. But before that, I was in construction. I was operating uh, machinery. I was welding, fire, moss, danger. I was cutting myself. I was burning myself, breaking my bones. And then until I kind of discipline the areas and become the educated areas. Now, every sign is both positive and negative. And like Taurus, right, the, right. Be the beautiful Taurus, the soul's purpose of a Taurus is to establish emotional, financial, and spiritual stability for himself and for the rest of his family. Okay, on the negative aspect, Taurus can be also very greedy, all about money, not caring about others. That's the negative aspect of the sign. Or having so much money, uh, just literally turn himself into a bull and export the heart, heart attack, too much food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every planet affects a country. The United States, for example, oh, July, July 4, 1776. America is a cancer country. 
Now, to represent food, the ancient carved the crab. Okay? And what does he do all day long? Eats. And that's why America is the biggest country in the world where you can grow food for the entire world. And then that's where, of course, American dies on the fork because there is a lot of food. And that's why I'm here, because cancer is home. Cancer is family. Everybody wants to be here. It's security. Cancer is all about apple pie, um, baseball, football. It's all about uh, hamburger. It's all about security. America. Everybody wants to be here because it is a cancer country. It's home. Mm -hmm. Giving you an idea. And right. let's, let's, to, to help you to understand this, and let's talk about France. France and Italy are Leo country. Leo was love, romance, and that's why French and Italian are sought as lovers and nations of lovers and artists, which affect our language. There's a big difference if I say to you in French, uh, je t'aime beaucoup, uh, tu es un bon ami à moi. Okay, see how it sounds? Now I said the same in German. Du bist mein Ando und alles, ich habe dir gern. Yeah, you see? The difference between the sound Every country is controlled by a planet and a sign which affect all the people that lives under those stars. That's why it is critical for any human being to go above into the universal structure of God cosmic design and then going under so you can understand where uh, you came from. You have to stand above so you, by going under your stars, you understand your stars. That's the word understand. So in other words, if you know where you came from, then you can understand where you're going. Exactly. You understand the good and the bad about all your stars. And instead of letting the negative stars be right. manipulated by the reptilians that create chaos, death, drama, God knows what, you control your destiny. Because the part of God in you is much stronger than the stars. But you cannot control your stars if you know nothing about your stars. You need to understand your stars. You need to get, you need to go above so you can see how you stand under. Talking of the stars. <laughs> we, <laughs> talking of the stars. Okay, now I see you're laughing. You, you almost know what I'm going to say. No, all right. We got so many things going on. What's going on in 2022? Again, the tail of the dragon is now, going. Let me, let me, let me, let me just, let me just give you a little, little premise here. Okay talking about we're not talking about the, the long the long run here no. we're going into 22 with our tails between our legs right and the idea of things are to remove the tight tail stand up straight and walk into 22 right i hear it i hear people with ideas of what they think about 22 and mine is is completely bizarre anyway but the idea is we want to change what's happening. The only way to change it, and I tell people this all the time, it's your consciousness that connects with others' connection of consciousness that will begin the wave that will change. That's the only way to do it. If you don't think positively in a positive way, that challenge will challenge another brain, another brain, another brain, another brain. The and final it, effect, yes, the final effect. Just keep going. And people look at me and go, are you sure? Are you kidding? This is, this is, <laughs> how do you think you got here today? How do you think we survived until this time? We started at the beginning of town a billion years ago. And who knows how many billions of years and stars, and they say they see, uh, uh, UFOs and all this kind of stuff all over the place. Come on. Those people are billions and billions and billions of years in front of us. We're, we're, we're the babies in this whole thing. So we have to use, start to learn to use what we already have, we're born with, and can change the world we live in now. Uh, all I can tell you is that um, there's a hell of a lot of uh, civilization that are burning under your 400 feet, 400 miles under your feet in the in the magma. <laughs> it's all boiling here. You know, we're not the we are not the only you know, race that hang around in this world. That's for sure. But in order to understand the future, let me bring you back two years ago. Okay, the tail of the dragon, as Notre Dame is used, okay, was into the sign of Sagittarius. 
Now, Sagittarius is represented by a man, a bow, and the arrow, or the Indians. Now, the tail of the dragon was dead on the Indians. That's why more than any other race, the Indians were exterminated by this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, millions, millions of Indians, even in India, died. Okay, Now, Sagittarius was... Um, black people, the minority, Chinese people, uh, Japanese people, foreign people, French people, anything and everything that is foreigners, that's the tail of the dragon. Okay, so since Sagittarius, the horse represents the traveling. <laughs> the tail of the dragon in Sagittarius, you, you don't travel. And then all the minority are getting it. Now, Sagittarius also is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is the uh, rules the ninth house of higher education, college, university. Okay, for 18 months or so, the kids didn't go to college like they're supposed to go. Make sense again? When mm -hmm. I was on George Henry, I said, be ready for a huge, huge fire that's going to kill millions of animals. A week later, we had the Australian fire, followed afterwards by a bunch of fire in California that killed so many things and so many people. The tail of the dragon it was, and still until January, into the sign of Sagittarius. Now, wherever you are a Sagittarius, okay, that's where you are going to suffer this dragon's tail by sign and house. Again, if your audience wants to know a little bit more, for 20 bucks, they can go to my website and get the ebook Nostradamus Dragon Forecast for all signs, personal and universal, and they can see where this dragon is going to be, has been affecting them, and where it's going to affect them in 2022 in great detail. But anyway, all I'm trying to tell you, the head of the dragon is in the opposite side of Sagittarius, which is Gemini. What is Gemini? Gemini is all about talking, writing, communication, anything to do with transportation, bridge, road, highways. See what happened yesterday? Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. The head of the, and that is written in my ebook. But if you don't put your hand on my ebook two years ago, how are you going to know what's going on? Now, let's go back much deeper, and that's where we're going to create, I'm going to create a lot of enemies because people are not able to disassociate themselves from their emotions, okay? In the eternal battle between emotion and logic, emotion and fears always wins, okay? President Trump was born with the tail of the dragon in Sagittarius. That's why. His best friend were our worst enemy. You're talking about Putin. You're talking about falling in love with King Jong Hoon. And that's why Sagittarius was religion. The tail is on that sign. And taking a picture of the Bible didn't work for him. Now, the first thing he did is to go to Paris and kill the Paris Act. Remember, he doesn't care about nature, about animals, about anything. All he wants is money, is gas, is, I understand. And you need to realize, do not throw the water with the baby and don't kill the messenger. I don't care about Trump. I don't care about Biden. I don't care about the, the Clinton or the Bushes, whatever. I am not a politician. I am an astrologer. So when I give this type of information, that pisses a lot, excuse my French, a lot of people because they cannot understand me. Okay, I'm coming from a very different world here. Well, so yeah, if you see, you're giving truth. As opposed right. to an opinion. Exactly. That's why when I was in Coast to Coast and I said to George and Tom, hey, do you know what, George, Tom, you're not going to be singing and dancing for, for the next two years. Uh, guess what? Uh, Trump won't be reelected and COVID-19 is not a joke. It's very real. And by saying the truth, of course, they kick my ass out. They don't want me there anymore because I say the truth. God, thanks. There are people like you who can handle the truth, who are not afraid of the truth and, and let me speak the truth. And, and, that, and, and for that, I thank you so very much, Bob, because you know, you're a fantastic channel to pass on my wisdom to the, to the world here. We, we, I mean, we've done this now. Let's see, now we're going on 11 years <laughs> or something like that. I mean, oh, well, now I'm really feeling old. But, you know, <laughs> we, we've, been, we've been doing this in everything that we do, every single subject we talk about and talk to and people that we talk to, whether they be senators to doctors to junk men, you know, one of those things. No matter who we talk to, it's got to be truth i don't hold anything back on this show 
We don't uh, hold zero back on this show. Well, yes, you need to realize that, you know, uh, George and Tom, they are on a very conservative radio station. And uh, he emailed me, he said, you cannot talk about Trump, you cannot talk about COVID and this and that. And every one of the guests that he, didn't, that he has invited say Trump would be reelected and COVID was a joke. And then you see it was right at the end, Dr. Cherry. And for that, I got kicked out. But that's okay, you know, this is, this is life. I'm a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. Here, I'll, I'll give you one that, that somebody had said to me that I kind of adjusted a little bit so it made sense. How many people, like I said a couple of minutes ago, just to go back a few minutes, I had said that the consciousness, consciousness itself, spread between people, can change things, can be changed anything, can change the weather, even. You know, I mean, uh, you know, people knew that there was going to be a Twin Towers before it happened. Why? Consciousness. That's what did the whole thing. What we're talking about with Trump losing the last election. How many people did not like him because he had a big mouth and he talked about things and he went on Twitter and he and he did his you know thing and everything else? And that, that's negative energy. Negative that's energy right. into the consciousness only it, it only made itself worse and it spread and spread and spread and spread. Till everybody said, oh, well, there's a guy that's not doing the tweeting and everything else that will vote for him. Not knowing, not looking behind the curtain, the, the curtain to see who was really there. Now they're going, oh, you know, maybe I made a mistake. Well, consciousness made them do it wrong in the first place. Exactly. So what's going to do what's going to do anything or change anything the second time around? It's got to be positive. But yeah. you know what? There's something getting in the way that I feel, and you probably see it somewhere. It's the hate that's coming for the current was it administration. Hate is heavier and gets in the way of real truth. Uh, one thing that is very deep, um, Bob, and that you know that the audience I really have to pay attention is when I said. The future is nothing else than the reincarnation of the thought. It's all coming from the superconscious in time and space. Now, what is the superconscious? Somebody asks, okay. Well, this is where God resides. He gets your heart beating, he stops an infection, he knows everything about you before you were even born and after you die. Put it this way. It's a very dark area, which an area of the human experience which is not really, really understood. Okay. The point is, is that where God resides and that subconscious of yours does not rationalize. He does not know what's right or what's wrong. It's like God, again, creating an earthquake or a tornado and killing innocent baby or families. So that's why you have to be very cautious, very careful of every word that comes out of yeah. your mouth. Bingo. If the reptilians get those words negative, it's going to bring back an avalanche of negativity. And in your subconscious, you can also stimulate the atomic structure of your body, which means you can't make you sick. When my right. wife dropped me after 12 years of marriage, I was so depressed, I was so negative. The next thing you know, I, I, I was strong, I was, supremely healthy next thing you know i nearly died because i i got cancer i was about to beat it by realizing what i was doing to myself but you need to be very careful love hope integrity education curiosity creativity is that what unify us as a human race now you have a bunch of politicians that are in power. They are ready to do anything whatsoever to stay in power. And if it's lying is the key, I, they will lie. So that is, those people are infected. They are infected and they, the reptilians, will pick people. They will put them in a position of power so they can infect more people and they are everywhere around you. There you so, go. So you have to be very cautious to constantly realize the power behind your words because your subconscious is going to bring it to your face right in front of you in time and space. Let me give you an example. Okay, a very simple, stupid example for people who do not really understand the depth of my message right here. What was this? 
Why was this 50 years ago or 100 years ago? What was this? The question is very simple, okay? It did not exist, but no. it's here. Okay, what was the city you live in? What was Paris, Washington, DC, New York? What was this city three, 4,000 years ago? Nothing, they didn't exist. But they're here because you, as a human being, you have been made in the image of God and you like it or not, you know it or not, there is no difference between two images. You have inherited the very same power than your creator. In other words, we are all God and goddess on this dense physical world, learning that the future is nothing else than the reincarnation of the thought. This is why it is critical, and I'm going to be doing a book signing in Las Vegas, put your hand on my book, Beyond the Secret. He will teach you the importance of understanding and channeling the positive force of your subconscious and steer the creativity and the magic of all the draconies that will bring your reality. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up at that, at what you just said. I, I want to see that. I want to leave people on the edge of their seat. That was, that was good. Thank you. <laughs> well, my heart, my heart is there. You know, I'm passionate because I'm, I'm real. I, I want to help people. I want, I want to educate the world. I want to, I want to do my best of the best for my human fellow being. That's it. So I'm real. Well, I, we, we have to, we have to get together on the phone. So we are, we are definitely going to do that. And that's so we can, we can talk offline and things. And what I want you to do is tell people where to go to your website. Well, basically, go to drturi.com, www.drturi. That's my website, okay? It's a labyrinth. I'm a 72-year-old guy, so my website is all this, like a, 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 a labyrinth of information. You can watch my uh, UFO uh, show on, uh, on Amazon Prime. You can watch it for free also on Amazon. All for my website, you can watch my uh, uh, my show on astrology. You can also sign up for my uh, upcoming UFO, big mega UFO conference coming up in Las Vegas at the Bali Hotel. My God, you're talking about the longest the most diverse and the most the cheapest UFO conference you can get. You know, Bob Brown doesn't doesn't throw mess up conferences. No, uh, I mean, the thing is, from the nineteenth March nineteenth till March twenty yeah. seventh, right? And that is long, very long. <laughs> but the reason I, when I saw him in Las Vegas in my last conference and he invited me, he says, "Louis, you know what? There is a lot of people in uh, uh, in, in South of America." In in, uh, in a Spanish speaking country, they are really really desperate to get those information. So I have decided to have a conference that with native speakers from uh, those countries. So and that's why it has to extend it to such a long time. But we're going to have speakers from all walks of life. As far as my UFO conference, uh, my UFOs I, uh, are concerned, I'm going to be doing my own slideshow, my own room, and then I'm going to be teaching, I'm going to be healing. You know, this this pandemic has literally destroyed so many people, Bob. Right they on. have changed entire life and people carry with them a lot of negativity. So I want to heal them. I'm going to use Nostradamus methodology and I'm going to use their hand and their feet. They, I'm going to pair people together and then under uh, my jurisdictions, I'm going to teach him how Nostradamus used to heal people with their natural tools, with your hand and your feet and of course the superconscious. I'm going to be teaching that in great detail. So on my website, you have all the information, click on all the links and then hope Hopefully you come up and see me there and have fun. And I'll give another one. If anybody else cannot find out where to where to go or they forget for any reason that where they're supposed to go, just write to Bob Charles Show at live.com. You okay. send me an email. I'm up at three o'clock in the morning answering all these things. So hey, I will definitely send you the information. Bam, one, two, three. Thank another you. thing in that, that that I also uh want to do, uh anybody that wants to go to that UFO mega conference get on his website because it tells you all about it where it is how to get there etc cetera, etc cetera. you you'll be able to go to a conference that you will come away from feeling like what didn't i why didn't i do this last year <laughs> or the year before or and before. some and, and i'm and sorry to catch you up it's important you know what i'm going to do i'm going to do something that only dr jerry does i'm going to bring people on stage and i'm going to prove to them 
the reality of extraterrestrials. I did it on my uh, on, on my cruise when I went to Mexico with all the top top people out there. I was the only one who proved to the entire audience that extraterrestrials are real. I'm going to do that live. There you go. And I have an idea for that one too. So we'll have to do it by phone. Uh, I will get in touch with you, Annette, by email, and we'll see where it goes from there. And the other thing that I did want to say was uh, some of the complicated conversations that we're going to have that's coming up, of course, as you know, we do have 2022 coming up. We do have holidays coming up. Through those holidays, can you imagine the things that, that are going to go around if people don't remember one word, just one? And I'm sure you're going to you're going to agree with me on this one. The word is love yeah that's that's all there is it's all it's all about love it's all about positivity and let uh, the the draconis work through you because they are already as i said part of your psychical makeup you need to realize this now if you want to look for physical extraterrestrial there are rules you know extraterrestrials don't come to these hearths when they feel like they have to respect some cosmic rules they're using the energy of some planet and i teach all that in my ufo conference oh there you go and with that note oh yeah oh we got to say, man, we go out of here now we go out big <laughs> everybody call, don't forget the address is bob charles show at live.com you got any questions about the show you want any copies you want any copies sent anywhere just write to me. We will do that for you. And we'll also send you some more stuff too, Annette. So you can get onto the shows, and Come see Dr. Tori on Pyramid One World Radio. To everybody else, God bless y'all. Bob Charles. Thank you, Bob.